The second question in this case study that we want to address is the question of price elasticity changing prior to relative to following competitor entry. In other words, is the degree to which price influences units sold different prior to and following entry? And so I'm going to put up this graph, which is price on the x-axis and sales on the y-axis, and the dots represent data points, and they're color-coded such that the blue dots represent all the data points prior to competitor entry, and all the green dots represent all the data points following competitor entry. What you might be able to see here is if I fit a line to the blue dots and a separate line to the green dots, it might be the case that the price response is different prior to and following entry. Specifically, it seems like prior to competitor entry, the blue line, as price went up, sales went down very, very quickly. However, after competitor entry, the green line, as price went up, sales only went down a little bit. In other words, the elasticity was different prior to and following entry. Now, of course, we don't want to just eyeball this. We actually want to test it statistically. So the first approach to answering this question is we could simply run two different regressions before and after entry. And one quick way to do this is actually with a tool known as split file. So under data, we can go to split file. And what this lets us do is say, let's make two virtual data sets that represent data for every level of a particular variable. So we can take entry and put it into organize outputs by group, and that'll create two virtual data sets, one for all the data prior to entry and one for all the data following entry. And any analyses that we subsequently run, it'll run them twice, once for each data set. So it's a very handy way to do this. And so we can run the regression, analyze regression linear, what we want is the influence of price on sales, and it'll separately estimate it for prior to entry as well as after entry. So if we click OK, we see we now have a little bit more information. One, first of all, we see this row that says entry equals before competitor entry, entry equals after competitor entry. And we have two complete sets of regressions, one up top and one at the bottom. For simplicity, I'll just put them up on the screen like this so we can see the regression coefficients next to each other. What we see is that Prior to competitor entry, the beta coefficient is negative 7,200, and it's highly significant. And following competitor entry, we see that the net coefficient is negative 1,800, and also highly significant. Well, what this tells us is that in both cases, before and after competitor entry, the influence of price on sales is negative. In other words, as price goes up, sales go down. It also looks like the influence is different prior to and following entry. That is, it looks like there's a steeper price response function prior to competitor entry, it's a much larger negative number, than there is after competitive entry. The problem, however, is we have no way at the moment to statistically say if negative 7200 is different from negative 1800. In other words, they're both negative numbers, one seems bigger than the other, but right now, we're just eyeballing. We need a way to statistically determine if these are different from one another. And the way we're going to do that is with approach number two, which is using an interaction term. In order to really understand what an interaction in a regression is, we're going to have to take a slight detour. And so the next video isn't going to be about this case. Instead, we're going to use another example, which I find has really been helpful for students to understand how an interaction works and what it actually means. After that, we'll come back to the case and answer this question.